Good morning, YouTubers. I just want to do a quick video for you guys. Show you why I like to be organic. So over time, we've been able to start bringing back some of the native birds to Louisiana. And one of the ways that we do that is never ever spraying any type of pesticides. Right here in front of us is a very small habitat for insects, for our good pollinators. And you can tell it's being used because you see the hole that's clogged in with dirt right there. That means that a beneficial insect climbed in there, laid its eggs, blocked it off. Really cool. Now when I say I use absolutely no pesticides, I really mean it. What I mainly use, hot sauce, hot peppers, garlic, rabbit urine. I have found that they are amazing at keeping the bad pest from doing too much damage to your garden. And before the brutal Louisiana sun comes up, I wanted to show you just all the happy pollinators the different types of flowers and foods they have here in our garden. Now we'll tell you an overhead sprinkler system like you're looking at right here does tend to cause a mold and mildew, which is going on there. That's mainly caused from top watering, okay? But I don't have an irrigation system set up right through here. And about every three to four days, if it doesn't rain, I have to come in and add this. So I know people in the UK often comment on my videos telling me that my garden looks very similar to how they garden there and very different from how people in America garden. People in America garden, this is a market garden now, a no-till quarter acre market garden. Most people in America tend to till everything leave the soil bare as you can tell out here in my pumpkin patch and this is a pumpkin patch you're looking at i mean i'm sorry a watermelon look at that watermelon patch i have allowed the morning glory just kind of take over and protect the soil now in the beginning when it was really putting out a lot of watermelons i did a lot of weeding to keep it back but now that we're into the you know into the season it doesn't hurt to go ahead and feed the pollinators. This is a heirloom type of okra. Very, very hard to harvest. <laughs> I can get in there. This corn is spent to your left. You've got a lot of winter squash coming on here. A lot of pumpkin on this side. I'm big on pumpkin, you guys. You've got shallots and more corn. So in areas that I'm not currently gardening, I do allow, or has established plants, I do allow the native ground covers to kind of come back. A lot of reasons for that. A lot of reasons for that. Mainly because it feeds my pollinators. And I am all about organic, sustainable farming. But let me tell you guys this. Something that really bothers me is this push to ban synthetic fertilizers across the world. I'm seeing governments like Sri Lanka, do that overnight. Soil has to be regenerated and regeneration takes time. So you're looking at a plot of land that's in its second year of regen ag techniques being applied, okay? It's still not producing enough to really sustain people year round. Yes, I can feed a few families, my livestock, me and my husband and my kids. But this garden could put out 10 times the amount if I would break down and use synthetic fertilizers. I won't for several reasons. But in a pinch, if you really want high yield, you do need synthetic fertilizers until you have really brought the soil back. And guys, that simply takes time. So if you're seeing your government talk about banning 
any type of synthetic fertilizers, ask them what their long-term plan is. Are they gonna support the farmers and the education to learn regen ag? Are they gonna give people a three to five year plan to get their soil back healthy? Because we tell you about synthetic fertilizers. They leave a salt residue and it's not salt like table salt. It's a buildup of minerals in the soil that's really bad for your soil. And if you stop using them, there's no actual nutrients left in the soil. So it needs to be done in a very slow manner to regenerate soil, all right? It's not an overnight thing. Hope that this helps you guys. Just give you a bird's eye view of what I get to look at every single day of my life. Please like, comment, and subscribe.